Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install Windows Admin Center and connect to a Hyper-V server 2019. So um, first thing you should be aware of is that uh, the browsers uh, verified for use with Windows Admin Center are either Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. So uh, right now Firefox is my default. So I'm going to go click on the start button and type in default so that I get my default apps choice there. And I'm going to switch over to Google Chrome and we'll close that window. So let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome and do a search here for Windows Admin Center. All right, and we can either go to this download page here or I prefer this uh, Windows Admin Center on the Microsoft Docs page because not only does it have the uh, download, but it has all this information about Windows Admin Center. So there's two choices for download. There's a preview, which has the latest features and updates, but uh, is more beta, right? And then there's the broadly validated and generally available version. I'm going to go with the broadly validated one for stability. So let's go ahead and click on that. And in Google Chrome, your download will be in the lower left-hand corner. When that's ready, it gives a little flash there, and we can click on it and open the install. All right, I'm going to close Google Chrome uh, to minimize distraction here. And of course, to proceed, we'll have to accept the license agreement. Click Next. Now there is a variety of, um, I guess, installation options, etc., uh, ways of using and configuring the Windows Admin Center. If you're interested in all that, go ahead and click here on this link. Um, I'm going to skip that and just stick with the default install here. Um, do note the port um, 6516 here by default. Um, you may need that. You may need to open up that in firewalls, etc. Um, so make a note of whatever port it is, and that is editable if you want to change it. And uh, it's always great to have a desktop shortcut, so go ahead and click on create a desktop shortcut here. And we're going to click on install. Now this will take a couple of minutes, so I'll pause recording while that happens. And here we are on the final screen. And it does give you a little bit of advice about um, one more thing, that it, you'll have to select a certificate the first time that you open Windows Admin Center. And under More Choices, you want to choose Windows Admin Center Client. All right. So I'm going to click here on Open Windows Admin Center and click Finish. By the way, if you um, didn't switch your default browser from Firefox to Google Chrome and you check that box. It's going to open in Firefox and uh, it may not work, right? So um, don't be surprised at that. Close Firefox, open Edge or Google Chrome and, um, well, actually, before you close Firefox, copy the address in the address bar, then close Firefox, open Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, paste the address that was in Firefox there hit enter and then Windows Admin Center will uh, open and run. Okay, but let's go ahead and click on finish. And here's the select a certifi certificate area here. And it's already selected on this machine. There's only the one certificate. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Windows Admin Center starts to run. There's a tiny little tour here. If you click next, it basically tells you where to click for help. And you click finish. And uh, it is showing the local machine here under connections. Right? But, um, but and also we have this little bit for updating. I'm not going to bother running the updates right now. But if you want that notification back, you can click on the little bell here. But what we want to do now to connect to our Hyper-V uh, 2019 server is go ahead and click on Add. 
we're going to go to servers and under server name we are going to type in the name of the server All right, and once it finds the server it's going to ask what credentials you want I'm going to use the admin account that has been set up on that server so administrator and then the password I'm going to go ahead and click on add with credentials if you want to save the password in Chrome you can go ahead and do that I'll skip that bit here is the server that we just added if I go ahead and click on that Windows Admin Center connects to the server gives me all of my administration options on the left hand side and also gives me a nice overview of the server itself here on the right when it first opens so that folks in a nutshell is how to install Windows Admin Center and connect to your Hyper-V server 2019. Hopefully this was useful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.